in this chapter we will discuss about the organizational structure of banks and the banking sector in general so in india at the apex level at the top most we have the government of india which has various ministries so like it has home ministry defense ministry external affairs railways you know. one such department is the finance ministry so the bank banks come under the finance ministry the finance ministry has a number of departments like department of economic affairs department of expenditure revenue financial services investment and public asset management now among those departments we need to focus on the department of financial services that is the department under which the banking sector and not just banking sector financial services in general so uh, insurance companies uh, pension system all those uh, uh, companies come under the department of financial services so the department has many divisions and banking division is one of them so the banking sector comes under the banking division of the department of financial services in the finance ministry okay for your interviews you need to know the names of the uh, current finance minister and do not as important it's better if you remember also the uh, finance secretary and minister of state for finance okay now that is the macro view that is how the uh, banking sector operates at the national level within an individual bank say you are going to uh, going to interview for a, uh, a sbi interview so individually what is the structure in a bank individual bank like sbi okay so there is separate structure for each banks i mean there is, there is nothing uh, uniform within public sector banks there is one set of is totally is different for private sectors and even within public sector banks big banks like sbi have a different setup and mid scale banks have a different setup so it's not uniform uh, for your interview you have to go to the bank's website and just try to get a feel of what is the structure but by and large public sector banks uh, where you have more vacancies so uh, i'll i'll just give you an overview of how the structure will be usually in public sector banks maybe as an individual because you have you might have gone uh, many times to banks at the branch level you are, you are aware of only branch as a bank but branch is just one layer in the banking structure there are other layers such as head office corporate office it's called as zonal office circle office representative offices abroad so you should be aware of all this uh, structure okay so the employees of the bank i'm i'm restricting myself to public sector setup in india the employees are assigned grades such as clerk jm1 mm2 mm3 sm4 sm5 te6 and te7 jm stands for junior management mm stands for middle management sm stands for senior management and te stands for top executives so the officers in the seven levels are called they are given designations they are known as assistant manager deputy manager senior manager chief manager assistant general manager deputy general manager and general manager and then the cmd and the ed that's the chairman and managing director and executive director are the are above all this uh, uh, seven levels okay Th this is not a, a interview question per se but since you're attending a bank interview and you plan to join the bank sector this is just for an information this is not really an interview question one classification in employees is general bankers versus specialist officers so general officers are like whom you usually see in the branch level okay it's like they work they do works of the general nature such as account opening and cash management demand drafts and routine work then there's another category of officers called specialized officers these officers handle specialized uh, nature of work such as uh, say for example it officers they look into only the uh, it that's the information technology part of the the bank they are credit officers who look into only loans and advances there are rdos that's rural development officers they look into rural aspects on legal officers chartered accountants marketing officers so those are specialized officers okay beyond this you need not know much about the structure of the banks okay. in some questions uh, in some interviews you might ask questions like um, are you okay with transfers in which case obviously you should be there is a transfer policy in banks mostly uh, usually like 3 to 5 years they they transfer you from one place to another so if they if they ask if you ask you such such sort of question you have to be ready with an answer right? you have to say obviously you should you don't, you don't have any problem with relocation you can't say i am against it okay they won't recruit you so obviously you have to say uh, you're okay with it uh, the other thing uh, uh, which you should also know is that not every person starts at scale one it's not necessary that you should start from scale one banks these days are also recruiting directly from scale 2 and scale 3 also 
Okay. So the questions in this uh, chapter could be like, which ministry does the banking sector come under? That is the finance ministry. So who is the current finance minister, the current finance secretary? Please update yourself with the latest uh, persons. Right now, uh, Mr. Arunjaiti is the finance minister, but as in when you read this uh, course, just update yourself with the latest uh, names. Names and departments of the finance ministry, we have seen that. Under which department does the banking sector come under the finance ministry? That is the department of financial services. So what does the department of financial services cover that we have discussed? Can you tell us about our bank's organization structure? So for the particular bank whose interview you are going to attend, you have to update yourself. Go to the bank's website and you get the organization structure. Name some grades in the bank and all this. You are applying for GM1 CADA. Do you know some other CADAs in the bank? Yes. So MM2, MM3, those things. You are applying for MM2 post. What does MM stand for? That is middle management. You should know the full forms for all the GM, MM and SM, T. You are applying for general officer position. Do you know who specialist officers are? Give some examples. Yes, we discussed that. Our bank has a policy of transfers every three years. Are you agreeable for frequent transfers? Just say here, okay with it. Okay.